All right, hi guys, Don Rice here. Working on, uh, actually I'm working on P47. And I, I know I've showed you this before, but I thought I'd, I'd show it again. This is, uh, this is, I'm burning in a couple of new servos. And so this is a, it's a high tech 645 MG servo. I, I have, I don't know, 10 of them or something like that inside the P47. And when I went to fly it last weekend, one of the servos started getting all jittery on me around, um, right around neutral. And, uh, and honestly, I, I did not have a chance to burn in the servos um, when I was building that airplane. So before I replace the, the elevator servo, I thought I'd start burning in a couple of these things. So um, what I got going on here, there's two of them. 645 mg I just have them wide together and going to uh, this little controller doodad which is uh, and it's from can't even read it what does it say electronic model systems EMS they make all kinds of neat little gadgets for the hobby. And the power is coming from um, that little clusterfuck right there, which is doing a bunch of adapter mess to get me over here to this 2S 2P lithium ion battery pack that uh, I made out of um, uh, batteries pulled from a DeWalt battery pack. Anyway, so uh, in this particular burn in, <laughs> awesome apparently I don't know how to tie a knot um, okay we'll look at this one so what I've got going on here is uh, I center the servo arm here and I've hung uh, two one pound diver weights so that's putting 32 inch ounces of torque on the motor I'm not stressing it very hard. These are, I don't know, 120 inch ounce servos. Um, so they shouldn't even be breathing heavy to do this. Uh, and, they, and they're not. They're not screaming or making a lot of noise. You can hear this one. Right? No big deal. About the same noise that this one's making. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll let them, uh, well, first I will tie, retie that weight onto that servo arm. And second, I'll let them go like this for a half an hour. And then I'll turn them over, the servos over, and burn them in for a half an hour so that uh, the other side of the gear train um, gets the torque placed on it. So that's all for now. Later. Well, hey, good news. <clears throat> The, uh, it wasn't that my knot came undone, it was that the string broke. <laughs> so, yay for me. So, then I decided, first of all, I'm going to replace the string with uh, um, Teflon string, which is this stuff right here. And uh, they weren't even, you know, the servos aren't getting warm. They're not having any issues at all. I thought, well, what the hell, they're 110 ounce servos. Um, let's toss another couple of pounds on here. So now I've got four pounds on there. Um, that's 64 ounces plus the weight of that clamp, whatever it is. And here's the servo. I've got the sweep set on a pretty low speed. Let's let's speed it up and see what happens. Let's turn it off with a sweep. All right, so there's, this is manual.
it struggles a little bit to get to the top. Not much. I mean, it's doing okay. Oh, that's not bad. Go ahead and set it back on uh, on a nice slow sweep. Just let it gently burn in. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, there you go. That's probably I don't know 70 70 ounces. Up and down every couple of seconds. That's burning. Later. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. Here is set up Mark III um, because the Kevlar string I was using was also breaking. Over time, I guess, you know, just being rotated through this little hole over and over and over again broke the Kevlar string. So I got a couple of these um, uh, pull pull cable 256 doohickeys, they've got holes all the way through them. And I ran the Kevlar string up through the middle, tied it off at the top, and now there's no um, rubbing of the string on anything. It's just the just the clevis doing the rotating. So if you're going to do your own setup, you might want to just start off that way. And here we are, two pounds. Two pounds going up, two pounds going down. Little servos are doing curls. Endless, endless curls. Hundreds of curls later.